I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for a link in the video description below for a lesson playlist and to where you can download this quick reference. In here are all the scoring elements and on the back is a little bit about how to play. It's not comprehensive because the real estate is limited, but it's enough to get you started. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with the east round. East, south, west, and north. Those are the winds of the round. If you get a three of a kind of the wind of the round, you can get score for that. I believe it's too fun. Let me look. Yes, too fun. I learn. East round. I'm just going to roll these to randomize which seat we're in. I rolled an eight, so we're going to be in north seat for the exercise. North seat, east round. We're non dealer, so I'll get 13 tiles. We have a flower. Okay, for these tiles, I see four, five, four, five, six, and a five. We could do mixed triple chow. Four, five, six in each suit. That is eight fawn. You got to have eight fun to win. We could chow here and pair up anywhere else. If we get rid of these honors, we could also have something called no honors. That's number 76. That's a fun. I think that's what I would do here. Mixed, triple, chow. We could chow here and then pair up. I think I would hold all number tiles and discard the wins. You know what else we could do here is discard this because here we have all simples, all two through eight, no terminals, which are ones and nines. That's another scoring element. All simples is number 68. That's two fawn. I think that's what I would do here. Discard the honors and the terminal. Go for all simples, four, five, six, mixed triple chow. Chow here. We need more tiles though. We need more number tiles, two through eight. So I would just hoard them. If you would do something different with these, let me know in the comment section below. Write east pull and what you would do with these tiles, if different, than mixed triple chow and all simples. Even just mixed triple chow and keep the one, but I always want to get more score if I can. And by discarding one tile and holding two through eight, we could get two more, two more fawn. Okay. Now we're gonna do south round. I rolled a three, so we're going to be in west seat. Non-dealer. have a flower. Okay, 
We're in west seat, it's south round. So this north won't bring us any score. This is when I look at patterns in the number tiles. We have all the sevens. So we do have seven, nine, seven, eight. We have another potential for mixed triple chow. We have a one, two and a two, three, two other potential chows. All we really need in here is a pair and then something to help us get to that seven, eight, nine chow. Here we have seven, nine, seven, eight, seven. I think I would try for mixed triple chow again. Sometimes that happens. Same pattern. Since we have a one, two and a seven, nine here, I don't think I would play all simples. But one thing we could do is something called outside hand. That's where you have a one or a nine or a wind or dragon in every block. And here, all we need to do is discard this four because four is too far from a one, two, three and it's a middle tile. Here we can do seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. There's one, two, three, four blocks right there and they would all use ones or nines in the block. And we could actually discard the dragon and the and the honor there and have no honors. So let's see, outside hand, the scoring for outside hand is four fawn. That's number 55. So we would need more score elsewhere. That's where I think this mixed triple chow would come in. But if we got rid of the honors, we could do outside hand and no honors. That would be five. So we would need more score. That's I think where mixed triple chow will come in. I think that's what I would focus on trying to get a chow in here and do mixed triple chow and then outside hand. Mixed triple chow is number 41, eight fawn. So now we're going to west round and we're going to be in east seat because I rolled a nine. Just count around the table. If north is eight, east is nine. So we're going to be the dealer this time. We'll get 14 tiles. flower. Ooh. Four discards to a half flesh. Even though these are single honors, we're in east seat and it's west round. So both of these, if we pair up, could bring score. We have a potential pung, potential chow, potential pung, or potential chow. Obviously, we need more BAMs or pair up these honors so we could pung, but that's a pretty good start. I would play a half flush here. Half flush is number 50. That's six fawn. So we would need two more fawns somewhere. I think either the wind of the round or the seat win pungs of either that would get us to eight fawn minimum. We do have a nine, a three, and a nine. Ones, eight, 
and honors but we would have to throw these away right here to get outside hand which is ones and nines in each block or winds and dragons and we have a pair here i think i would rather f leverage all these bams and play half flush maybe half flush all concealed a concealed hand would be number 62 that's too fawn if we can do this concealed until we're ready to win and claim a discard for the win that would be concealed even with the discard as the winning tile but if we self pick that would be called fully concealed that's number 56 and that's four fawn so maybe try to stay concealed and see about drawing in bams discard these stay concealed as long as possible because that can help us take a half flush to eight fawn let me know what you think about that for west pull now we're going to north round this time i rolled a seven so we're going to be in west seat non-dealer We have a flower <gasps> another flower three bam okay I would play get rid of these winds and dragons and ones and nines play two through eight and also we have six eight five six six seven we could do five six seven mixed triple chow potentially it would take a little work we could also do six seven eight but there's chow potential here and here if we did six seven eight i would get rid of the one and the white and the west and hold two through eight and just gather see about doing mixed triple chow with four five six or six seven eight or five six seven i mean we don't have any other sevens besides this one so i think six seven eight or five six seven would be doable maybe attainable i guess i should say i think that's what i would do here let's just look at knitted really quick one four seven two five eight three six nine three six two five one four seven seven three six nine so it would be one four seven two five eight three six nine and then the dra wind and dragon so that's one two three four five six seven versus 10. I think all simples and mixed triple chow is what I would do here. Start by discarding the one. See what comes in. Two through eight, go for all simples, mixed triple chow. If honors come in, or a nine bam, eight dot, 
one crack, four crack, maybe lesser honors and knitted tiles, number 34. That's 12 fawn, but I think all simples and mixed triple chow would be better here. Let me know what you think about those ideas. Just in case you're wondering, flowers cannot be included in your minimum score. So these are bonus tiles. The eight fawn have to be in your hand, not bonus tiles. If you're new to Mahjong competition rules and you have a set at home, get your tiles out and try random pulls. Be sure to download this quick reference so you can have all the scoring elements at the ready because you're going to need it to train your eye to see the potential in a drawn hand. Once you get used to seeing the potential, especially eight fawn minimum, then maybe you could play online. I play at Mahjong time. I do have 30 day VIP codes. So if you want to give it a try, look for my email in the video description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. May all your picks be keepers.